Alright, hello guys. Welcome to a Season 10 Cup game. Uh, this is for the round of 32. It's going to be a Crane Mirror match between Isomalt and Swartzkopf. Oh, there's a 1 in his name. Uh, apparently on Jigoku, he's Popular Hermit. So we see a three fate guest of honor for both sides to open here. So slight advantage to Isomalt since he has the first player and was able to get the passing fate. Um, he also plays a way the crane to honor himself. He will be down two cards now thanks to that Imperial Storehouse. But he does have voice of honor turned on if he has that. Uh, he also has Imperial Palace, which is always good. Let's see. So, passes the first conflict there. Yeah, I think, like, probably you want him to attack you because you just win, right? Like, he has zero fate. Uh, there's a steward of law, and you're honored, and he can't play events. So, hey, we have 50 bits from Phoenix Fox, thank you. Uh, I think Crane will probably win this game, but we'll have to wait and see. So the steward of law is going to attack Manicured Garden. Uh, that is going to mean that Popular Hermit gets a couple of fate... So if he does have a conflict character, he will now be able to play it. Um, he is attacking the Earth Ring here. It's always good. We see no defense. He uses Manicured Gardens. Uh, so this is a... <laughs> yeah, Crab wins somehow, maybe. Uh, this is a military conflict, which is important, because if it was a political conflict, then the Crane Stronghold could just bow the Steward of Law. So, you have to go military here. Uh, we see a Steward of Law played on defense, though. For one fate. Still winning, so he passes. There's a four shame. Like, you're, you're, you're fine with this, I think, right? Um... You essentially traded one card for two there. You traded the Steward of Law for a Steward plus a Four Shame, uh, which is a pretty good trade. You did give him two Fate off the Manicured Garden. That's the only downside to that. Um, but yeah, the Earth Ring effect would have only been slightly better than winning that conflict. Or than... The Earth Ring would have only been slightly better than the amount of cards that actually got uh, spent there. Ooh, so Guest of Honor attacks and finds Art of Peace. Um, interesting that Isomalt is running Art of Peace. I know that there are some cranes who like this province. Uh, the best example is Micah. That's kind of a specialty for him, and he is one of the best crane players. I'm not sure if he's the best crane player, but he's he's pretty good. He might be the best grain player. Um, but yeah, for for some reason, and I I really don't know what it is, but for some reason, a lot of good crane players actually like this card. Uh, so I mean, there there must be something to that. Personally, I I think it's better to just run manicured garden and fertile fields. But I mean, what do I know? I'm not a crane player. Yeah. Let's see. Ooh, are they... Hmm, hold on. Okay, yeah, the other player is running Fertile Fields and Manicured Garden. And Rally instead of Entrenched. So a bit different on the province rows here. Crane has to lose this game now. Well, Crane's going to lose no matter what, right? I think it's mainly only Micah. Yeah, I mean, 
I don't know. I think of I think of Micah as like a large portion of the crane of the good crane players cuz he's the one that I always see uh doing really well. Neff Neff also. Does Neff like it? I feel like I've seen Neff playing that card. The le legitimate alternative, not just better. Yeah, I mean I don't know. Like it's it's not bad, right? Uh, let's check the splashes. Yes, they are both on Scorpion Splash. Um, Isomalt is running one Calling in Favors, two Fate Worse Than Death, two Mark of Shame. Seems good. The Calling in Favors not going to be too good here, uh, but the other cards are all right. Um, the other player, Micah ran it even on Dragon Splash. Uh, the other player is running two Mark of Shame, one Meek Informant, two Calling in Favors, and one Fate Worse Than Death. So he has even more Calling in Favors, which is not really what you want in this matchup. Um, Yoshi, <laughs> yeah, Yoshi showing up right in time when Crane claims favor. Unfortunately, it is the wrong Crane that claimed the favor. So just going to play the Doji Challenger. Um, he attacks Art of Peace, so see, this is this is why I don't like Art of Peace, right? Like, it just turns into a blank, a blank province, and even when it breaks, it doesn't always do a whole lot. Um, ooh, we see a defense with the Guest of Honor. There's a policy debate played by Isomalt, okay. At least they both got guests, yeah. Uh, so plays that policy debate. He's going to bid two just to guarantee he wins and take a look at the hand. Sees fate worse than death, admit defeat, assassinate, court games, force shame, ornate fan, two policy debates, two soul beyond reproach, and a steward of law. I would take the fate worse than death, probably. Like, you just, he has four fate even, you just take that now and then you just, that's only, there's only one fate worse than death in the deck, so then you just don't have to worry about it for the rest of the game. Uh, the other thing he can do here is see if Crane has enough force to break on this attack. And if he doesn't, I say Crane, they're both playing Crane. If he doesn't, you can just move home. And it looks like he does. He could play the Steward of Law or the Soul Beyond Reproach. Uh, we see another policy debate, though. Let's see what card he takes this time. Might be the Steward of Law. Yes, it is the Steward of Law. So he can move home here. Uh, that would force the opponent to spend a Soul Beyond Approach if he wants to break this. And even then, he would get Dishonored. Uh, we see a Find Katana, Doji Challenger. Oh, right, Doji Challenger hasn't been used yet. Yeah, so Doji Challenger moves in Asami. Uh, you can just move her home now. Wait, he doesn't move her home? Yeah, it looks like that was a mistake. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's unfortunate. So, I mean, he still has the favorable ground now, so he can move a Guest of Honor into into another conflict uh, to prevent events. But since he knows what's in the hand... Like, there's not really an event that you would want to play anyway, so... Yeah, he's probably just going to take a break here. Um, you should probably pass your first conflict. If you do have a conflict character, uh, which would have to be like a steward of law probably, 
Yeah, you could play that during the second conflict or after it. And, ooh, dis Dishonors Asami to take control of the Ornate Fan. Is this going to be a Soul Beyond Reproach now? Would he attack, though? That's a good question. Yeah, he knows there are no cancels, so he could play Soul Beyond Reproach. Looks like he's not going to do it yet. Yeah, looks like he is going to attack. Um, what ring do you want? Probably, okay, he's going for fire. Yeah, fire seems good. Ooh, magistrate station. So. Hmm. <clears throat> hey, Evan, how's it going? Uh, so he actually moves in the guest of honor, so he's probably going to unbow her and just prevent the break from happening here. That seems good. Yeah, I mean, that was... That's that's probably the perfect province to flip Imperial Palace on, right? Yeah, <laughs> hitting Magistrate is pretty bad. Uh, again, Isobalt knows exactly what's in his opponent's hand, so he might not be able to win this conflict, but he can at least prevent this break from happening, and then he'll have this Guest of Honor. Well, he'll probably dishonor the Guest of Honor if he wins, right? But then you could have a way of a crane or a soul beyond approach. Uh, he's running soul beyond approach, right? Yes. So if he has one of those for the Asami, that would be really good. Ooh. Okay, interesting. So it looks like he didn't have any other cards to play. Um, but his opponent actually honored the Doji Challenger. I'm not sure I agree with that. I guess that turns on Voice of Honor, right? So maybe that's fine. Uh, but still, having this Guest of Honor still be honored here. Maybe if he can find a Mark of Shame, that would be good. So both players are going to find Hotaru here. Uh, additionally, they now both have a palace. Honoring versus Mark of Shame, yeah, that's kind of a problem if he finds that. Um, I would definitely want to get the passing fate as Ice and Malt. Actually, you, just, you only have one fate left, so yeah, you're just going to take the passing fate. Um... So he's actually going to have to fight for the favor this turn, since they both have palace. He's not going to be able to just get it for free. But again, with the Magistrate Station face up now, things are going to be a little bit easier. Both players bid 5. So he probably didn't have the Soul Beyond Approach, or he would have played it while he knew that his opponent had no cancels. Um... I could see him going for the air ring here just to get the two fate. Yeah, he does draw away the crane, but it gets cancelled with a voice of honor. That's probably fine. I guess he I, he probably didn't draw a mark of shame, or I, he probably would have played that, right? Like, you just play it, turn off voice of honor. And I, I guess your opponent could have soul beyond reproach or something that would not be great. Um, there's a way of a crane to honor Hotaru. Ooh. It's a little bit scary. Isomalt does have the first attack here. He could go... He could try to get a... Um, Double firing and dishonor two of these two of his opponent's characters. Ooh, he's going for void. So this will force some kind of defense. Um, I might just defend with the guest of honor. He does have a favorable ground as well, which is a little bit worrying. 
Uh, you 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 want pretty much like any of these characters to defend, right? If Otaru defends, that's good. If Challenger defends, that's good. Guest of Honor is just a ton of political skill, so he'll take that probably as well. About to get debated? Yeah. We, we know that Popular Hermit has two debates in hand as well, I believe, so... Pretty sure we're going to see a policy debate here. If there's a defense, that is. If you defend with, yeah, either Guest or, Hot or Hotaro, you can just immediately policy debate. Ooh, he uses Manicured Garden first, though. I don't know about that. There's a court games to dishonor an opposing character, and now the policy debate is quite a bit harder to get off. Um, only four to six now. Okay, he has his own court games. Sure. Uh, there's a Soul Beyond Approach, though, to Honor Asami. Ooh, and there's no cancel. So Hotaru is still up two skill over Asami. So you could still policy debate, but you would have to bid high. Yeah, he is going to do that. Why didn't... Like, there's there's no reason to not do that as the first action if you're going to do it. It's literally free. You, just, you can just bid one. Surprise he didn't attack with guests since it will stop policy debate. Can FGR magistrate station? Yeah. I would have uh, probably attacked. Like, you can attack guests. That also turns off cancels. So you can just soul beyond approach Asami and then court, court games whoever defends, right? Um, Hotaru is going to win the duel. Wow. Isomalt bids five. I think that is a mistake. Um, if you're policy debating here as popular hermit, like, you can't afford to lose it, so you're going to bid high pretty much no matter what. Um, so I would have just bid one and taken the honor. Let's see. We have admit defeat, two assassinates. Admit defeat's kind of scary. Uh, two bonsai, noble sack, soul beyond reproach, steward, and voice. Yeah, I would probably take admit defeat. What happened? Oh yeah, okay, he took admit defeat, uh, and here comes Hotaru. Yeah, I mean, they're not going to lose on honor, but still, you probably should have just, like, there's there's no way he's not going to bid high there. Could he use the, yeah, yeah, he could have saved the way of the crane there and used it during an attack where Guest of Honor was participating, that's true. So Hotaru comes in, uh, we see the second policy debate get played. This is The second policy debate is always a lot less valuable because you already know what's in their hand. You're basically just playing it for the discard. Isomalt does bid one this turn, which is smart this time. Uh, so what do you take now? Soul Beyond Reproach? I think I would take Soul Beyond Reproach. Yeah, Double Void is definitely pretty strong here. Um, although the second trigger is not going to do much immediately, because you you pretty much have to avoid the Guest of Honor, right? Uh, so then the second one will just be on one of these characters. Still, though, it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's the second Soul Beyond Approach, so I would just take that. You could take Noble Sack, I guess. Uh, discard Steward of Law, okay. Discarding a Conflict character is good as well. Ooh, wow, he plays the Soul Beyond Approach to honor Hotaru. Um, hmm. Why? He was already breaking. I'm not really sure why he did that. Uh, uses Asami, good thing he didn't forget to do that. Because he can, yeah, wanted to station here probably, yeah, that's what I was thinking, he probably wants to use Magistrate Station on Hotaru. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess that's fine. Yeah, like, I, I guess he was probably just afraid of the third policy debate, maybe? But if he wanted to discard the Soul Beyond Approach, then he would have done it. 
when he had the chance there. Um, but yeah, so we do see how Targa gets stood up. But yeah, Isomalt has a pretty dead hand right now, I think. Bonsai's are potentially good. He has one military conflict left. But other than that, it's pretty dead. Magistrate now is a mistake. Going to get pulled by Challenger? Yeah, that's true. Going for the watering as well to unbow Hotaru. Uh, this should probably be military, right? Like, there's, I don't think there's any reason to go political here. Hmm, he does go political. Seems a little bit strange. But yeah, Doji Otaru, um, no, Guest of Honor, I mean, is just going to get pulled here, though, by the Challenger. And I don't think there's anything you can do about it. See a pass. Ooh, wow, we see an admit defeat. Um not enough to win uh sorry, to break though, thanks to this political favor. But this will let him resolve the watering. Although I still think he should have gone military here, so he would still have a political left. So this is what a game is like without Cloud the Mind? Yeah. <laughs> uh, he pulls in Guest of Honor now, question mark. Okay, I'm kind of confused now because he played the Admit Defeat and then pulled in the Guest of Honor anyway, and now he can't play events. Um, wow, yeah, so he, he literally just wasted an Admit Defeat for no reason. Not really sure about that. I guess that's would have I guess that's what would have happened though if um if he had saved Magistrate Station. He would have got admit well no, because the guest of honor could have defended, and then he wouldn't get admit defeated. <laughs> yeah, I I don't really know about that. Um, if Popular Hermit has a bonsai here, then he could probably break this. That would also get him the favor. So that would be pretty good. Uh, and Isomalt has no fate. Ooh, he does have the bonsai, yeah. So this Magistrate Station is going to die here. Um, which is very bad news for Isomalt. And would not have actually happened if he had just uh, played that turn slightly better and saved the Magistrate Station usage. Or if... Mm, no, yeah, just had to save that. Uh, firing will dishonor Hotaru as well. This will keep Voice of Honor turned off going into the next turn. So the only positive there for Isomalt is that that Guest of Honor leaves play a turn early, so he is going to have the bigger board this turn. Uh, so now he just needs to... If he, if he can get, like, a double void on his opponent's Otaru, that would be really strong. Ooh, and he finds Yoshi the turn after he lost the favor. Plus two Cautious Scouts. Yeah, that is a little bit unfortunate. Almost never see Earth with two fate. Yeah, Earth is a pretty good ring, generally. Yeah, so he just plays one Cautious Scout and passes... He's already pretty behind on fate, so it's fine. Yeah, if nobody if nobody gets Earth Ring this turn, I will be very surprised. But again, Isomalt has to be a little bit worried about the future here because 
if his opponent gets a double void ring, then his entire board will clear, whereas if he gets a double void ring, he can kill this Otaru. Uh, so that is pretty big as well. Ooh, there's actually one uh not assassinate, one censure in Top Crane's deck here. Hold on, I think I forgot to give yeah, I didn't give Neff the point yet for the go problem. Dragon's still winning. Crane is tied with Phoenix now for second. Three fade on that air ring as well, but the air ring effect is not really very meaningful right now. Tied for second, yep. Uh tomorrow at six AM no. <laughs> that's that's three AM for me. I will be asleep. I mean if it's really important then I could like I could wake up and then stream a game and then go back to sleep. But, yeah, probably not. Um, Doji Challenger is going to attack Manicured Garden here, taking the three fate off that airing. Yeah, sleep is greater than L5R, yeah, probably. Uh, the, ooh, there's a Mark of Shame on Hotaru. He can, act he can actually box her now if she doesn't re-honor or something. Plus, this air ring is going to do nothing. <sighs> uh, there's another mark of shame on this guest of honor, though. Yeah, if he has soul beyond approach, then we're going to see that. Yep, there it is. Uh, he had to turn off the voice of honor first. That was a good play there. And Isomalt is out of Soul Beyond Reproaches now, right? Yeah, he already played both of them, because he played the second one on Hotaru. So, this Guest of Honor is going to stay Dishonored. Oh yeah, we know he has Noble Sack, right? So yeah, that was probably going to be a Noble Sack play. Uh, the Mark of Shame is, was also to turn off Voice of Honor, though. He knows that Isomalt has Voice of Honor in hand. So you can't just play the Soul Beyond Approach. Wow, he's going to spend another Soul Beyond Approach to honor his Doji Challenger, who was neutral. Does he have? Nope, that's so that's both Soul Beyond Reproach for both players now used. Um correct play would be to block with the Guest of Honor, yeah. But he's gonna get he is gonna get pulled in with the Stoji Challenger, so yeah, if you block with the Guest of Guest of Honor, you can mark of shame um into Noble Sack there. That would have been really strong. <laughs> And there wouldn't be anything he could do about it. Like he would bow to your characters, but that's fine. Yeah, why didn't why didn't he do that actually? Oh well, he still would have played the Mark of Shame. Ooh, we see Noble Sack on the Guest of Honor though. Hmm. I mean, at least it wasn't on Asami, I guess. You can sack Asami. Well, 
Yeah. I mean, it feels kind of bad, right? But I guess you would do it still. Uh, cautious Scout going to attack. Finally taking that Earth Ring. This is pretty risky, though, so... Um, Isomalt's Hotaru is bowed, which means trade Asami. Yeah, I mean, but you're trading a one fate Asami with a fan for a two fate Hotaru. Like, you you probably still do it, right? But it's it feels kind of bad. Uh, so he finds fertile fields here. Contesting the Earth Ring. If I had Assassinate, I would just kill this Cautious Scout so I could draw a card and then I don't get Earth Ringed. Um, like, what are you doing with your honor, right? I would just do that. Yeah, that's what I was gonna, that's what I was about to say is Isomalt Sotaro is bowed, but his opponent's is not. Ooh, we do see the, the Assassinate. So yeah, um, I think the double voidering is about to happen, and that will just wipe Isomalt's board, which is very, very bad. Uh, and again, since he assassinated there, he can now Fertile Fields, and he won't get Earth Ringed. I don't know, it's looking very tough. Okay, here's a Steward of Law. Can try Fate Worse Than Death, um, yeah. So there are two Voice of Honors and one Sentry left in the Crane deck, so that's three cancels that you have to worry about. Uh, there's a Counter Steward of Law. Let me go back up, actually. Did he have... Okay, he didn't have one in hand there, so yeah, we don't know if he has another one. Uh, Fate Worse Than Death got discarded for Popular Hermit, but not for Isomalt. He still has two in his deck. Uh, there's a For Shame. Gonna stop that Earth Ring in its tracks. And yeah, now you just, you just, I think you just attack with both characters here and pull in Asami, right? Yeah, that's probably what I would do. Go Void. Like, I don't think there's really a card in his hand that could stop this. <laughs> yeah, he'll have the Steward of Law next turn, at least. That's true. Uh, we see a Court Games to Dishonor an Opposing Character. Doesn't really matter which one. I mean, I guess... It Okay, he's just going to re-honor it, so yeah, it didn't matter. Yeah. So, Isomalt passes, so yeah, we'll probably see the challenger pull in Asami now. And all he can really have now is like a bunch of four shames, I guess. Yeah, he would have to have like, um, let's see. You would have to have all three four shame, I think.
Yeah, I mean, Challenger is a good card. I think we all know that. Uh, but yeah, we are going to get the Devil Void Ring. And that is going to mean that the Asami and the Hotaru both die this turn. Uh, one for shame. Well, one for shame wouldn't be enough to win. Even if, even if, well, he wouldn't bow Hotaru, right? But he would just, even if he dishonors Hotaru, it doesn't matter that Voice is not turned on anymore. Like, Isomont still needs all three for shames. Ooh. Can fate worse than death? Yeah, that's true. For shame and rival. Yeah, rival would have been good. That's that's true as well. Um so this this flip is potentially not bad. Uh oh, second guest is pretty bad though, yeah. Uh, Isomalt can try to go for a political rival, though. Still, it's hard to see how he gets back in this game. This Hotaru's still around. This challenger is still going to be around for a while. At least Crane wins, yeah. But Crane loses, though. Yeah, it's unfortunate that Isomalt is losing, but it happens. He's up six cards, which is a lot of cards. Also th up three fate. So Isomalt has first player here. Uh, you probably have to attack fire. Yeah, he is going to attack fire. At fertile fields, I think if you if you hit magistrate station here, then there's no chance, right? Uh, he's going with skill zero on military. We do know that he has bonsai in hand. You could just defend with... Mm, no. Could defend with brash samurai. Yeah, this is actually kind of awkward, huh? Because if he bonsais, he's at four. So brash samurai will not be enough. He will still honor himself, though. You can't risk assassinating here, right? It's gonna bonsai twice. Uh, we see no cancel there. Saving it for the assassinate, maybe. We know that Isomalt has assassinate in hand as well. Two of those, I believe. Ooh, he is just gonna win that conflict. 4-4, four to four, so this will dishonor Hotaru. Gotta try. Yeah, I mean... You don't actually get anything out of the assassinate there, do you? Because you still won the conflict. So I think that's fine. Dishonors the Doji Challenger, but it just immediately gets re-honored. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm.
So what's the best ring here? I think you probably either go Void just to deny it, or you go Earth. Although you are getting low on cards. He is going to go Void, okay. So you can double Void the Kaizen here. Ooh, he's going at Art of Peace. Oh, this is actually, wait, he's going military. Okay. He likes getting dishonored, maybe? Yeah. Wow, we see no defense. Uh, I guess he doesn't want to get both of his characters to pull in here. Get pulled in. So now you just pull in the Steward of Law. You don't really want to give Kaizen the free honor. You could just not pull in the Steward of Law, I guess. So he doesn't get... Like, all you're doing is giving him a free honor, basically. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, so Art of Peace is going to dishonor both of those characters there. Uh, there's a fan on Kaizen, so he doesn't get bowed by the stronghold. Um, hmm. Could attack water or earth here, I think. Water is not really great, but it gives you a fate. Yeah, he is going to go earth. Political skill four. So if the guest of honor defends, that will be enough. Probably just defend this, right? He has a ton of fate, though. So he could play a political rival here. But yeah, I think defending it is fine. Uh, there's a court games to dishonor Kaizen. That's pretty good because it means he can bow him now with the stronghold. So yeah, you're just fine now, I think. Unless he has another fan, maybe? Ooh, we see Mark of Shame on Brash Samurai. Okay. You could have played that. No, that wouldn't matter. Hmm. There's the Stronghold and a Pass. Interesting. So, again, Popular Hermit is going to have a much larger board going into this next turn, and he is on Crane's, uh, well, his opponent's stronghold as well. There's a Way of the Crane on the Guest of Honor.
Yeah, I think he is just dead next turn. Uh, Poppy Bakramet is going to be first player. He has the political favor. He finds a Yoshi and a Whisper. So he's going to have a million political skill. I don't think there's anything you can do about it. There's Yoshi 2 Fate. So you have to play... Probably just have to play out your board as Isomalt. He has a ton of Fate. At least stop your opponent from playing events here as well. Drop like three rivals? Yeah, that's true. You could just play the Whisperer and not play the Samurai and then play a rival on defense. That might work. Probably count. 20. Ooh, he doesn't play the Whisper. Wait, he didn't get Passing Fate either. Hmm, interesting. Uh, 20 to 8. Find Katana. Okay, maybe he's going to try to duel somebody. That might be good. You can duel Guest of Honor or Kaizen. Yeah, he probably has a rival too, right? So that alone would be 14 skill, which would just barely be enough to not lose. But yeah, the Kaizen duel could be pretty good here, which is a sentence that I don't say often. Um, there are two favorable grounds on his opponent's side, but that's probably fine. Oh, he's running Rally. I had it mixed up. I thought he was the one running entrenched position. So he's just going to switch this to military, actually. Oh wait, hold on. No, he, he declared military and then he switched it to political. Um interesting. <laughs> yeah, we have some, some faces there from Phoenix Fox. Uh there's the duel, so it's five to two, you can just bid two and then you win, right? Yeah, he didn't throw the Guest of Honor in there. Um, there's the favorable ground to move Yoshi back in. That is enough to break already. You can move in Guest of Honor. Yeah, we do see the Guest moved in. So, Popular Hermit missed his chance to play any events there. Um, might not have had any, though. Hotaru gets moved in as well, so this is where he needs the political rival. Let's see if he has it. Uh, Popular Hermit still... Ooh. So he only has two cards left in his conflict deck. Actually, has he played any rivals yet? No. How many rivals does he have? He has two. So if he uses Yoshi here, he will have... Yeah, we do see a rival in defense. If Popular Hermit uses Yoshi here, he will have exactly two rivals in his hand. Guaranteed. Uh, there's a Mark of Shame on Kaizen. That's enough to break, so sure. 
It's minus three skill. That also turns on the stronghold again. So yeah, this should probably be enough. Yeah, I mean, Isomalt is pretty dead here, I think. Yeah, we see the pass, so that is going to be it. Three cards to two left in the conflict decks. But yeah, like I said, uh, we could have seen Yoshi get used, which would guarantee him two political rivals in hand, and he had six fate, so he would get plus six. Um, playing the Mark of Shame is only plus four. I guess that's more valuable than one rival, right? Ooh, yeah, all of his four shames were at the bottom of his deck. That is unfortunate. If the last three cards in his deck were literally 3-4 shame, then that is pretty bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 2-4 shames in the bottom three. Wave a crane and 2-4 shame. Yeah, that's pretty not good. Oh well. Yeah, so uh, Popular Hermit wins that game. He will move on to the top 16. He will play against the winner of Yamaneko versus Handsome Dan. Should be should be good. So it'll be either be Lion or Scorpion. But yeah, that's going to do it for this game. Um, yeah, Crane won, as we expected. But yeah, uh, thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you next time.